Hello everybody and a happy Friday. Well, I learned a lesson really quick this morning. Don't wear stripes. <laughs> it is Friday. We're going to see what happens. We're going to go with the flow. We're not going to try and make things happen. That is the quickest way to lose money is trying to make things happen instead of watching and reading and listening. I am working to make a commitment to be trading at least two days a week right now. I want to work back up to three or four. I don't typically trade five days in a week. Making these commitments mean making the time, scheduling it in, and that's important, right? When you really want to make something happen, you know, you just got to remember that impossible is just one person's opinion. We can make and find the time for anything that's really important to us. I mean, I'm a busy girl. If you don't know that by now, then uh, let me tell you, I got a lot going on. I went and saw a sports medicine doctor yesterday for my back. I think with what I went through yesterday, the healing is a coming. Don't forget, guys, if you're struggling and looking for a way to get funded, be sure and check out you Profit Trader. If you know that you're an amazing trader and you need just that next step, that next little bit of help that really pushes you forward, and by that I mean you need help getting funded. A lot of times we can learn all this information and there's a mis misconception that you need to have all this money to get started. Guys, you can go through the testing at you Profit Trader. You can show us what you got and you can get moving on that. So, you know, let me know if you got any questions. All right, so let's go ahead and peep out the market. I've been having an issue with Ninja Trader 8. And if anybody else is having this issue, please let me know because I've been in contact with them about it. Uh, when I get up in the morning and open up my charts, I'm missing a lot of data. Um, the good thing is Ninja Trader is really receptive to questions and information. All right, I see the W pivot here. Oh, you know, gosh, what is my deal lately? I'm just getting ahead of myself. Let's look at that daily chart real quick. Let's look here. Okay. <clears throat> Right back up to that area. BBs are pushing down. They're just barely though. Hmm. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. An overrun of the area. We still have potential for divergence here. We got a lot of strength going down, so I'm going to expect this to just give a little pullback and then go. Oh, man. A little lower than I wanted it to be. I wanted it at least one tick up here, but that's okay. I'll watch this push through here. Look at it possibly coming all the way down to this area. There we go. Oh, let me turn these off. Uh, a little diver. Oh, yeah. I was gonna say a little divergence here. I have my um, chart trader open on another chart over here, so I'm kind of scrolling back and forth. I need to put it on a closer one. It's at that bottom, but I really firmly believe it's going to push through it. Ah, oh, Lindsay, take the trades you see. I expect it to push past here. Ooh, 
Don't you love that? Passing on the initial entry, taking the second. I'll go with it. Tiny little bar, pulling back. Let it keep going. We still got some strength going down here. Okay, reaching an area that's held before. Starting to see a bit of a slowdown. Reversal bar potential. Now this could, I'm not following my risk along the way that I should, so this could definitely come back to it. I think I'm actually going to wait just a moment and then I'm going to move it right behind here and I'm going to hit uh, yeah, I'm going to hit close Ooh, I hit close right before it popped up I don't know if it got me or not <laughs> let's see hold up uh yeah I think it did that's okay though double bar just kind of stopping at this area it doesn't mean it won't keep going it does mean that we have potential for a pullback let's generate six and a half points okay i'm down with that we may call it an early day because <clears throat> i actually you know what i actually need to get up and walk around for now. I'm not supposed to stay seated for more than 30 minutes now Okay, I'm going to pause this and step away. Um, there is a good chance I'm going to be done for the day. Just simply because uh, I've had a pretty good win this morning with the two trades. And my back is feeling like um, I've been sitting for too long. So I need to get up and get moving around. And I have a lot of things I want to add to the curriculum. Just every time I talk to more students, I get more insight on how I can help. So um, what I try and do is relay that through video form whenever questions come up that I see more than one person has a tendency to have and uh, go from there. Uh, you know what? I actually am going to wrap this up. We're at an hour and I need to listen to my body, listen to myself. Let's go ahead and mark these. Okay. And let's just, I'll go, I'm going to go over something with these really quick. Definitely saw reasons to take the short here. Did not want to get in with this very, very weak to the downside. So it pops up and I saw the reason here. And when it kept going, I was like, man, I'm just going to step away from the idea of short for a moment. And almost immediately when that happened, let's look at them here. Almost immediately when that happened, this drop right here happened. And I just hesitated and had I not hesitated we, I could have still gotten in with a fairly decent risk right there and right here when it slowed down one last time and things were really starting to pick up the pace I'm like all right girl you're about to miss out on a move to the downside so took that there when it pulled back great it gave great indications of the push down now let's go back to this previous one this one same thing held off just a little bit on the move here but it's okay because we can get in whenever it pulls back and gives us another opportunity because that's what we're looking for for almost every entry is some sort of pullback uh, opportunity major retracement divergence with this barely pulling back here rolling over reversal bars everything saying come on a lot of strength down here tons of strength down here saying that we were going to go through it also if you remember when we first started talking today i said okay i expect it to break through this because what typically happens when we pull this far away with weak mas we break through them this is a mental game if you don't have it on point you're gonna struggle and i have really been off my game for a little while now that doesn't mean that i'm i'm not a good trader that doesn't mean that i can't come back to it it's just like think of an athlete who may step away from the arena for months due to an injury they don't just jump right back into a game they go out there and they do a lot of test runs they do a lot of practice and warm up and and getting back into the swing of things before they're back on the field the same thing happens with our minds and with trading we can't just expect ourselves to be perfect after we've been out of the game for a while we have to come back to it take a deep breath and work ourselves back into the things so number one 
one, we don't end up with another big injury of, uh, you know, to our account. And number two, we don't end up with that mental side that says, oh my God, what is wrong with me? Why am I not getting this? Because I could feel that trying to work its way into my bones. And um, I've just decided I'm not going to let it, right? So, <laughs> all right, guys, time to wrap it up. So I hope everybody has a fabulous Friday. It is 9.30. Market's been open for an hour, six and a half points. I'm good with it. Let's call it a day. Hope everybody has a fabulous weekend. Like I said, if you want the tick counter, a few people have gotten a hold of me. A hold of me. I've gotten it sent to you. Um, and if you want to know about, and actually I'll just show you really quick. I've changed the settings on my Mac D's to, come on, to 12 right here. Um, like I said, I am still going to get someone to work on those and build me another Mac D that I just, that's our own, um, you know, and I'm not having them build it for me so I can sell it to anybody or anything like that. I really want just to have one that is set and it's our own and we can use it however we like. It'll still be open and free to everybody through the free course. So hope everybody has a fabulous weekend. And as always, you know I look forward to catching you on the profitable side.